On your Consumer Watch this morning, we're talking about Social Security benefits. Regardless of whether you're close to retirement or even a few years away, 2020 is bringing some big changes which could directly affect you. We're going to bring in our financial expert, Joe Burt, to break it all down for us this morning. Joe, good morning. Good, good morning, to see Andrea. You. Good to see you. Okay, so let's talk about this increase in Social Security checks right. happening next year. Yes, the uh, annual increase that you get, which is determined every September, they announce what the new number is, uh, is going up a whopping 1.6%. And the average person gets about 1400 bucks a month on Social Security. That means they'll get an increase of about $24. Okay, that helps. Every little bit well, helps. Well, every little bit helps. But if you're living on 1400 bucks a month, you are below the poverty level, which is why we tell our, our viewers that Social Security was not meant to be a retirement plan. It is a safety net. And what you're going to have in retirement is what you're able to save between now and when the Social Security checks start. So think of it as a supplement. Let's right. talk about making sure sure you've got more means that you'll qualify for more and that means you know there is kind of a maximum benefit to, to this. Maximum benefit is about three thousand dollars a month now if you retire the full retirement age however if you defer your full retirement age to age 70 okay you get an automatic eight percent per year increase plus cost of living so some people that defer that that had the maximum contribution are getting about four thousand dollars a month in Social Security now which is a huge amount unfortunately most people make the wrong decision about Social Security you know what they do? They reach age 62, they say, I'm gonna kick back, I get my Social Security check, I a little bit of savings, and I wanna retire. Well, what happens is great for the first few years, but then you get in your 70s and your 80s and you find out it's not such a pleasant thing. So you really have to focus on what Social Security will provide, but and more importantly, what you're able to save and invest through your working lifetime. $4,000 sounds like a very good number, but not everybody qualifies oh, yeah, for you, that. You have to have the maximum contribution for 35 years, because that's how your Social Security is calculated. It's your high 35. So if you've been contributing the highest amount, right now this year the maximum is 133,000 as a wage base. Next year it goes to 137,000. And it's adjusted back in the early years, of course, it wasn't that. But if you contributed the maximum amount and if you waited to age 70, your Social Security check now is about 4,000 a month. Okay, let's talk about retirement age because as you mentioned, it's right. one of those numbers that can you can move the... Right. <laughs> and this is important because if we did not adjust these ages back in the 80s, Social Security would be broke right now. And it's on the way to being broke. But it, adjusting the age is what they had to do. So full retirement age, in, in, uh, if you were born after 1960, is going to be 67 years old. Right now it's 66 years, 66 and 6, six months. And it goes 66 six to 8 months all the way up to age 67 to be considered full retirement age. If you can hold on to that age 70, that might be your best benchmark, right? Yeah, you right? can. And unfortunately, what a lot of people do is they don't do that. They start taking out from their savings and so on and so forth. You want to work, work or defer to age 70 if you possibly can. This is where financial planning comes in. This is what we do day in and day out for our clients. Try to figure out how you can best maximize that guaranteed income that you'll get from Social Security. What about withholding limits? Well, the withholding limits have, uh, once again, uh, have risen to, to the amount of uh, the wage base, 133 this year, and then it's going to 137. That's And once you exceed that income, they're not taking anything more out of your check for Social Security. Okay, so that's yeah. where you max it out. Exactly, exactly. So the key is, is continue to work and continue to put in your IRA, your 401k, because Social Security is a safety net. It's not meant to be a retirement plan. It will be there despite current talk. And I'll tell you what will happen. The younger generation is going to have to wait longer and probably get a little bit less, but Social Security will always be there. Joe, always good to see you. you Great too, advice. Andrea. Where can people find you? Just Google me two words, Joe Burt, B-E-R-T. Awesome, Joe. Thanks. Thanks, Andrea.